A Madison County teenager was locked up this hour after authorities say he posted threat a threat on social media about killing his classmates. It happened in Plain City where the student attended Jonathan Alder High School on U.S. Highway 42. 10 TV's Jessica Goddard live in the newsroom now with more on that threat and why police say they had no choice but to take it seriously. Jessa. They took it seriously, Jerry, and responded swiftly. The student made the threat just before 7 o'clock Sunday evening, and less than two hours later, the 15-year-old suspect was in police custody. Plain City Police say the Jonathan Alder High School freshman posted this threat to his Twitter page at 646 Sunday evening. If we have school tomorrow, I'm bringing a gun and killing everyone. Investigators say he removed the post minutes later, then made several references about it being a joke, but it was already too late. A classmate recorded an image of the post and showed her parents, who called police. It's not time for us to, to evaluate at that time whether or not uh, that this is a substantial uh, complaint or not. We have to uh, respond to it and treat it as if it were. When investigators arrived at the suspect's door at 8.30 that evening, they say he showed no emotion, insisting the threat was just a joke. They say they found no guns in the student's possession, but he was charged with inducing panic. We will and have responded um, with uh, the same intensity that we would in any other situation, regardless if the individual is saying it's a joke or not. We have to respond and we will respond. Superintendent Gary Chapman says while the teen is facing criminal charges for making the threat, he's also facing disciplinary action at school, actions the parents we spoke with agree on. I mean, I don't know, you know, but I think any threat should be taken seriously. They're pretty good out here. They're very good out here about this. The 15-year-old suspect is currently being held at the Central Ohio Youth Center in Marysville. Parents of Jonathan Alder High School students were informed of the incident via an automated phone message on Monday afternoon. Meantime, the juvenile court judge has ordered the teen undergo additional testing and evaluation. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Goddard, 10TV News.